Hi everyone, I will be showing you guys how I fix a very common issue that was happening with my Helium hotspot where the online status went from online to relayed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your iOS app store or Android app store and search for hotspot utility or Helium hotspot utility. This is what the app looks like. It's that second one at the bottom. Make sure you're downloading this exact same one. Um, and once you're done, just hit open. So once you've downloaded the app, you have to make sure you go into the miner and you pair it using Bluetooth by pressing that BT button on the back of it. We're going to go back to it just so we can start troubleshooting it. And we're going to press that BT button with the SIM tool provided. We're going to press it for about five seconds. Then the green light should turn blue, which means it's ready to be paired with Bluetooth. So once you've downloaded the app, you're going to go and click the search icon at the bottom right. It should show up your miner. You're going to click connect on that. And then this is going to show if you're connected with Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We're connected through Wi-Fi, but in order to connect your miner to Wi-Fi, you click configure. Then you select your Wi-Fi network. Enter your password and hit connect. And then we're going to click Diagnostics Report at the bottom. You're going to click Run. And this is going to pull up this information. I will screenshot this and save it. Um, you're going to need that IP address at the bottom. So this is what I'm talking about. If you guys go to explore.helium.com forward slash hotspot, or if you just Google Helium Miner um, Map and just click the first link, it will bring you here. Right now we're in New York City. Um, we're going to click a few random hotspots and see if they're having the issue. Let's click this guy. Um, okay, he's not having that issue. This guy. Status is relayed. Hotspot's being relayed. This is what we're going to fix. So what you're going to have to do is pretty much um, open up a specific port on your router. You're going to have to get access to your router. Um, most people would just look up an uh, online video because each router is different. I'm using Aces router. Um, the default IP address for that is, I, I believe, is 192.168.1.1. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to log into my router and I'm going to forward the port that it's telling me to forward on the Helium website. So if you click here, get help. And then it pretty much just tells you that you need to open port 4158. So now that we know we need to open up port 4158, I will copy this. I will go to this website. I will be putting it in my bio, portchecker.co. Um, obviously, I'm going to be hiding my IP address. You're just going to leave that by default, or you're going to click use current IP. You're going to type in the port that you're checking to see if it's open. Um, for example, you might be getting that status relayed for other issues. Um, I would actually do this first so you don't waste your time forwarding ports or doing anything like that. You might still have to do it because it's recommended to do it, but that might not be the actual issue as to why your miner is relayed at this moment. So the very first thing I would do is check to see if that port is open. See, my port is open right now um, before it said closed. Obviously, before I did this, I'm just going to show you guys what the end result is. I'm not going to reset my router. I'm not going to do all of that again. Um, this is just an overview on how to do it with an Asus router. Again, everyone has different routers. Um, look at your manufacturer. Look up videos online on how to get access to that router and then how to port forward. And then you just forwarding this port pretty much. Once you guys have finished this part, I will open up a new tab and just type in 192.168.1.1. Um, and this is going to give you access to the router. Um, for example, um, I preset, I already set this up. I have my own admin password and username. Mine is just admin and obviously the password, you guys can see it. But once you've entered here, um, you should get access to your router. And that's when you can add the port that you need to forward. Some of the stuff might be blurred out. Um, but the very important thing to do is to go to WAN. Go to port forwarding for this specific router. Again, it may be different for you guys. Um, what I did was um, obviously this wasn't here. Um, it was empty. There was nothing here. So what I did was as I, I typed in helium. I left that empty. Very important. Um, don't add anything here. I added something here before and it wasn't working for me. So then what you do is you add 44158. Then you're going to click the drop down menu. For me, it shows my Bobcat Miner. Um, it should show up for you as well. This is the IP address. Um, that's 192.168.1.1.12. This is specifically to my Bobcat Miner. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys how to lock this IP address so that way when you replug your um, hotspot, it's not going to change the IP address. It's going to remain like this just in case. 
um, because you're opening the port for this specific IP, right? You're opening port 44.158. So if, let's say I reset my router or something happens. I, I mean, I reset my hotspot and I reconnect it and it assigns a different IP address. Then that IP address, I'm going to have to come and do the same thing. So we want to make sure this sticks and I'm going to show you guys how to unlock that IP address for that device. Uh, but after you select the, select the Bobcat miner from here, um, you're going to enter the same port over here for local port. TCP is the protocol, and then you're going to click add. If I want to let me do it, yeah, I could already have it. And then once you do that, you make sure you hit apply um, to make the changes. Uh, and then what I would do is actually what I did was I reset everything. I disconnected my helium hotspot or uh, well, my Bobcat miner. And then I also disconnected my um, Wi-Fi router and I waited probably 30 seconds. I plugged everything back in on my hotspot, though, it still says relayed, but that's very, that's normal after like 10 to 12 hours, it should update and it should remove that relay status. What's more important here is to check the port. As long as this port is open, that means you've pretty much done your part. You've done your part with opening the port. Now the, the um, helium hotspot just needs to update on their end through um, on your app or also in the, um, in the map and remove the relate status. So really quickly, one last thing I would recommend you guys doing. I read this online and also on the discord, um, server for Bo uh, Bobcat miners where people would disable their, their UPNP. So for mine, that is located on WAN. Then you look for enable UPNP. So I just click no and apply. Um, it's just another step that was recommended not to reserve that IP address for the Bobcat miner. Um, I'm going to go into LAN and I'm going to click DHCP server. I'm going to scroll down and enable manual assignment. I'm going to click yes. Mine was disabled before. You're going to add, um, are you going to select here? I already added mine. So I, you just drop down Bobcat miner. This is the IP address that's on there right now. Once you added. Um, well, let me just do this. It's not saving it yet, but it will be blank like this for you guys. You select the um, Bobcat miner. You can see the Mac address should match the Mac address on your app. If you go and resync your miner and um, pull up that information and then also the IP address is here. So what you do is you add that and that's going to lock that IP address to this um, Mac address. So when this Mac address connects to the internet, it's going to assign this IP address directly to it. It is very recommended just in case, you know, for whatever reason you, you unplug everything and you plug it back in and then it's, it tries to assign a new IP address. Um, you're going to have to reopen the port for that specific IP address now, but this way it's always going to be locked into that miner. Um, and then you click apply and you save it. Um, and that, that's pretty much it for assigning the IP address to the, the miner. After doing all of that, I would obviously reset my router, reset my hotspot miner. Um, whether it's a Bobcat, whatever you guys are using. And then I would replug everything back in, come back in like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, maybe longer, or just keep checking on this website and check to see that port is open. Once that port is open, you pretty much just have to wait until Helium, um, the Helium server or the hotspot does this thing where it's going to change that relate status back to online. So um, this is just a quick video of how it worked for me or how it's going for me so far. Um, hopefully... This can help you guys out. Um, I know it's very difficult because everyone has different routers and there's different settings and being able to pull the IP address to even access your router is an issue. So what I would do is, like I said before, look at the router you have, look at a video online or look at or look something up on Google that will show you how to gain access to your router where you know you can set your Wi-Fi password and edit everything as far as all the router information, um, kind of like what I have here. So once you guys are on this page, you guys should be able to find a way to port forward on your router um, to the specific port that Helium wants, which is 44158. And then you can check it here and you guys should be good to go. You're just going to have to play the waiting game from now on. And hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, thanks for watching the video. Share this video. Hopefully helps other people as well. 